Hi, this is Kristen, and this is another exciting children's message demo for ministratechildren.com. And you can feel free to see this as a partial example. One way that you could share the message, you're more than welcome to take your own spin on it, cater it to the needs of your group, to your own personality, do whatever you'd like with it. So here's one way how you might want to share a special Easter message with your children on this upcoming Easter Sunday. So open, do whatever works for you. Oh my goodness, it's Easter, it's Easter. I'm so excited. Are you so excited? I love Easter, I love it so much. In fact, when I was a kid, I always loved to do all of the cool Easter egg hunts and I did this one where I would always get the special egg and the special egg had a really cool prize inside and if you got the special egg with the cool prize, you got an even bigger prize. And I really like all the Easter bunnies they have out now. The Easter bunnies are really fun. I like bunnies, bunnies are really cute. Don't you think bunnies are cute? And I really love the Easter eggs, the little peeps things too, the peeps bunnies and the peeps chickies. I used to always get like a whole bunch of them. Have you seen the new flavor? You can have like maple syrup flavor, which I think is kind of weird, but it could be tasty. I haven't tasted it yet, but it might be really cool. And they even have Peeps flavored coffee creamer and they have Peeps flavored cereal these days and they have Peeps flavored all kinds of really neat things. And I got an Easter basket. Check out this basket. It's really cool. Okay. Maybe I should slow down a little bit and we can look at what Easter is all about. So what is Easter all about? Like what's the best part of Easter? What do you think is the best thing about Easter? Oh, wow. Well, I really like the Easter bunnies. The candy is the greatest. Oh, I really like that candy. I got an egg. I got a really cool egg. Well, there's a lot of neat things that happen at Easter time. And what is Easter about? Is it about the candy? Is it about the eggs? Well, it's about Jesus, says the kid with the sunscreen answer. Well, let's take a look in my basket and see some of the things that we do get to do and some of the fun things that we sometimes celebrate at Easter. So let's see, I have here, um, well, I, I have this little guy. We see lots of these kinds of things in stores, maybe bunnies, we might see lambs, we might even see pigs or cows or things that have cute little bows, cute little chicken, hello chicken. Let's see what else I have. Um, I have, oh, these guys, yes, the Easter candy, the peeps. I mean, you got to stock up on peeps because you can only get them for so long of the year. Actually, you can get them all the time online, but that's another story. So these are an iconic Easter item. Yes, the candy is always good. Um, I've got, well, I've got eggs. We've been doing some hunting for these guys if you came to our Easter egg hunt. And these are always fun. You can, sometimes you can decorate real eggs. You can boil them and paint them. Or you can just get these plastic ones and fill them with all kinds of cool stuff. I've got, oh, a little bunny. And you know what's cool about this little guy? You wind him up. And he hops. Sort of. Kind of. Maybe. Maybe not. And I've got chocolate. This is pretty much the best Easter item because these have just the right ratio of peanut butter to chocolate. So you got to stock up on your Reese's eggs when it's Easter time. They do freeze. And I've, hmm, there's some interesting other things in my egg, in my Easter basket. Another egg. I wonder if this one has chocolate inside. It's a disappointment. It's empty. It does not have anything inside. Oh, well, this is so strange. Hmm. I have some white Clothy looking. Is this, is this toilet paper? Why would someone put this in an Easter basket? Hmm. Hmm. Well, at Easter time, we do have interesting things and traditions that we celebrate and that we honor. And a lot of these actually came from people celebrating things a long time ago. See, a long time ago, people made a really big deal out of springtime. And they would celebrate springtime because maybe it had been a very long, cold, dark winter. And at springtime, they would do all sorts of cool things with flowers, because flowers were blooming. Or with, with chickens and eggs. They saw eggs as a symbol of new life and of new beginning. And that was something that gave people hope. Out of this dark winter comes this bright, warm springtime. And so they would celebrate. Maybe they would have lots of eggs at the celebration. Maybe they would have rabbits, because rabbits were symbols of life. Life. Rabbits have a lot of babies, so bunnies are a big thing. And they would celebrate a, in fact, they would celebrate the new dawn, the new life. And 
Some people say that the word Easter that we use comes from the word Eostre, who was actually a goddess of springtime in pagan cultures. So it's kind of a pagan beginning. But the interesting thing is that Eostre was actually the goddess of the dawn. And the dawn is like the sunrise. So people were very excited about this sunrise because to them it was a symbol of new things to come, of a new day, of a new dawn, and a new beginning. And in fact, fun fact, that's where the word east comes from because the sun rises in the east. That's beside the point. So we celebrated, they celebrated that dawn and that sunrise. Now, the neat thing is that for us, those symbols of spring, still kind of exciting, but we know of a different rising, of a different kind of a sun. Because when we celebrate Easter, we get to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, which was the most culminating, pivotal, exciting moment of the whole Bible and of the whole story of our faith. And it's kind of the whole reason for our Christian faith is that Christ came and that he rose again. This was something that God had promised a long time ago. And when Sunday came and he rose to life, that's a very important thing for us and for our faith. Now on Sunday, some of Jesus' friends, after he had died, went to his tomb and they went sort of to visit and to anoint him in his tomb. And what they found was that, in fact, the tomb was empty. Now, an empty Easter egg might be disappointing, but an empty tomb is amazing. Maybe baffling, but amazing. And angels, as you heard in the gospel lesson, the angels told these people, why are you looking for him here? He's not here. He has risen. Jesus had told them he would rise, but they didn't quite understand it when he was still alive. But now it all kind of came together and sank in. Oh, he really did. He came back to life. The sun had risen and Jesus had came had come back to life. And that got the women who had gone to see him so excited that they went running and running and running. And they were probably talking so fast that people couldn't even understand them. Sort of like I was at the beginning of this message. And they were so excited about it that people didn't quite believe them. But Peter ran to the tomb and what he found was a linen. The linen that Jesus had been wrapped in when he was buried. And now, just like the tomb, it was empty because Jesus wasn't wrapped up in there anymore, because his body wasn't there anymore, because his body had come back to life. And so that's something that's really exciting. And so for us, the Easter story is a lot more exciting than bunnies and chickens. It's more exciting than springtime, because it's a different kind of a new life. For us, it's a whole new life for everyone, because our sins have been covered, and we have new life in Jesus. Not just for a day, not just for a season, not just for warm weather and springtime, but for our whole lives ahead of us. That we know that we are made new in Jesus. And that because of this sun rising, of Jesus rising, the Son of God, we have new life for the whole world. And we have a hope in heaven and hope in the resurrection because for us it means that we have a completely transformed lives for ourselves. So that's something that we can celebrate, that this that God's big rescue plan had been fulfilled. And so we can celebrate that not just on Easter, but every day. Because for us as Christians, Easter is even more exciting than Christmas. Christmas celebrates that Jesus was born, but Easter celebrates that he came back to life and that we can be born again and that we can live forever with him. So that's a pretty exciting thing. So we say a prayer of me and we can thank God that we are born and made new and that we can be made new in him and live forever with Jesus. Dear God, Thank you for saving us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the hope of Easter. Help us share that with others. Thank you for your son, Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. Happy Easter. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah.